project was. It was like a, um, I was watching a, probably like a commercial or something. I don't remember what it was, but I saw this like text effect on a font that made it look like it was being hand animated. And I knew it wasn't being hand animated because it was clearly a font, um, but I thought the effect looked really cool. And I looked up the tutorial for it and I found someone that did one and he like used like a water texture and like frame by frame he moved it around and like it was really weird and it was like a 20 minute long tutorial and I, I made I come up with the effect in like five minutes to, <laughs> by myself to figure it out because I was just like I could probably do it this way instead and it takes like half of the time or like, like three-fourths of the time it's ridiculous so now we're gonna do a quick tutorial here just to get this across because it shouldn't take nearly as long as it did in that tutorial um, so the effect that I'm doing today, and I didn't even know I should do a tutorial on this because it's really quick, um, but I figured I should anyways, because I'm using it really heavily in a personal project I'm taking on right now, so I'm using it a lot, I'm looking at it all the time when I'm edit editing it right now, so why not? So the effect, if you can see the text right there, it's kind of like shaking a little bit, and just moving around. It looks pretty cool, like, the best way I can describe it is saying that it's hand animated, because that's what I think of when I see this. And I mean, this, this thing could also be used uh, for like heat distortion. So like if, if you think of like a desert and you're looking far away at something It's gonna look like it's distorted because of the heat. If you get what I'm talking about. I think of that a lot when I'm looking at this effect So it, it doesn't have to be specifically used on text like on another project. I used it um, for um, Paper and like it gave it more of an animated look so I mean and there's a lot of things you can use with this so here yeah, there it is just the shaky little text and uh, like I said, quickly, we're gonna get into that. So I'm gonna make a new composition. Control N to make that happen. Uh, background, I'm just going to take this color because I like that color. Uh, there we go. And that's way too long. So I'm gonna ch change my work area down to there and trim the comp so we get a shorter composition. And text, we're gonna do um, cool, cool uh, text, dude. Cool text, dude. And using a line, I'm going to put that in the center. Awesome. Now we have our text there. I'm going to size that down a tiny bit. Uh, cool. And what you're going to do is you're going to type in on your effects and presets, you're going to do turbulent and you'll see turbulent displays come up. And that's the effect you're looking for. So just put that on and now it's going to get super wavy, super cool and wavy. But um, yeah, we need to turn that down a little bit. So I'm going to go down to like 14 on the amount and like 12 on the size. Um, and again, like I said in my last tutorial, this is really like editable, so you can do this whatever you want. You can just change uh, the effects you want. It's not really like a hard set effect. You can make it go faster or slower or whatever. Um, but yeah, so 14 and 12 on the amount and size for now. And I'm gonna twirl down the evolution options in Turbulent this place, and this is where it's gonna get really, you know, everything for this animation is gonna happen. So just press Cycle Evolution, um, click that. And then on the seed, hold down Alt and click that. And then this little expression bar is going to come up and we're going to do a very simple expression, like, like really simple, like probably one of the most simple expressions beside loop out that you can do. So just type in time and then asterisk and the lower number you type is the slower the hand animated look is going to go. So let's start slow and let's say we, we set it to like eight, right? So we set it to eight. Um, got to make sure we auto save that project. Uh, there we go. So. If we RAM preview, you can kind of see while it's previewing that the text is moving really slowly and it's like getting that hand animated look. So as you can see, like every like every two or three frames or so, it kind of like does that little that wavy look. It looks pretty cool. And I suggest using the slower moving hand animated look on bigger text. So like if cool, for example, is um is bigger than the rest then I would want this uh, word to have a slower hand animated look than this one. Uh, that's just me personally though. That's just what I like to do. Um, so now what happens if we increase the, the seed, the seed time expression. So if we go from time asterisk eight to time asterisk 13, we will get a faster look. So as you can see, it's waving all over the place right now like a ton right so i ran preview look at that it's going way faster so there you go that's basically it and like i said like you could use this in a bunch of different ways too like i really get that heat distort look 
um, which I like. And you could also use, um, for an actual heat distort, you could go use Video Copilot heat distortion. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like to use it a lot. Like, like I said, in the project I'm working on right now, it's pretty heavily used, um, this style of, uh, of typography. Um, yeah, like I didn't even know if I should do a tutorial on this because it's really simple, but hopefully it helps somebody out. I like using it. I use it like all the time because it's just, it's a really clean look. Gives it that nice, it looks like you put a lot of time into the text, even though literally that took like a minute, like, and I was explaining it too. So if you just add this effect, you can just do it in like literally 20 seconds. It doesn't take very long, uh, but that's it. Cool text, dude. Cool tutorial, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I don't know when the next tutorial will be. Um, if you have like any requests for tutorials and let me know, cause I really don't know what to do for tutorials. Um, I just kind of make them as they come to me and I don't know. It's not very frequent and there's not really no consistency to that. So I don't really know, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed a quick little tutorial on this. Uh, help me out. Yeah. All right, cool. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.